Um, before we go to the papers, a quick chat on this one. American and Manny Pacquiao, they are already already in talks. I remember some time ago, Manny Pacquiao actually posted I know, on Twitter and says, look, he wants the fans to actually vote who is going to be his next opponent. Who do they actually want him to pick as his next you know, uh, opponent? And all of them actually voted American. So we'll see how this one is going to pan out. So the negotiation has started. American, he's 30. Manny Pacquiao, 38. So, well, a bit close. And if you look at the statistics, then uh, American doesn't stand a chance. We know Manny Pacquiao is one uh, boxer of actually one title in uh, three different weight categories. See how this is going to pan out. So, quickly, we'll look at the papers, Yemi. Yes. Where do we start from? Uh, complete sports. Okay. Um, okay, I'll start with the calf elections. Top corner. Yeah. Calf elections special. That's what this one says on complete sports. <laughs> And it says, NFF, Pinnick can vote for anybody. That's what NFF is saying. A football house give president mandate to use his discretion in voting. I think that's the most interesting story from this one. What do you think about this? Well, I, I think that, yes, uh, is, the, is the one who's going to vote. Is, is uh, the president of the Football Federation is also going there, with, I think, with the Secretary General, if I, if I knew the rules well. Um, Nigeria, perhaps, will have one vote. I think there are 54 countries that are going to yeah. vote. However... My take on, on the issue is that you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Some of the comments, if they are true, that are credited to uh, the president of the federation, uh, Amaju, Melvin Amaju Pinnick, don't think he's right. Because, yes, if you are supporting Ahmad Ahmad against Issa Hayatu, it is discreet, it is politics. And because if anything happens and uh, Hayatu returns, <laughs> be in trouble <laughs> somehow. You, that if, you think if, there might be the, a backlash? Yes, yeah, there might be a backlash. The Ghanaians are not talking. Well, are you sure Ayati is going to win? Nobody is so sure of anything. Nobody, are, of us nobody is, sure, is, is sure of what will happen on March 16th. Well, he seems Look, to be losing support. He can lose support because of his age, because he's weary. But what, my own take is that, Mr. President, if by chance you are watching us, please, I, I don't think you, 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 you just keep quiet. Keep your uh, uh, this thing close to your chest. Don't, then the questions don't, will always come. The questions will always come. Whom are you supporting and all that? What do you give as answer? Well, who are you supporting? Just mentions Ghana. And now Ghana, Ghana is diplomatic. Uh, uh, yeah, it's coming out. It's, it's not, it, everybody knows that he may not be supporting Hayati, but he's not talking because he also wants to get into the executive board. <laughs> yes. Uh, and Jory, uh, the Benefe who's contesting, is, is telling us, even I heard him on a radio program saying that our own NFL president is a small boy to him. No, that is, you know, people will say that. Yes, no my, my serious take is, is no matter where Nigeria wants to vote, who Nigeria wants to vote for, uh, because I'm, I'm a Jew owes the Nigerian vote. You should not talk. There should be tact. We should I, I approach the election very tactfully so that either we will benefit. Don't forget that we have a lot of qualifiers coming up. The South African uh, FA, Safa, uh, Danny Jordan is not talking. He may not be supporting Hayatu. We have games against them in the qualifiers for uh, the next Nations Cup. Then we have games against Cameroon, who are the African champions now. So, and this, th there is also politics in football, so we have okay. to be a bit careful okay. about, about uh, who uh, and I mean, who we support. Just look at Sporting Sun there. Oh. Let's just pick something. Um, this one, Sporting Sun, uh, quick response, because we have to go. Yana just said to join Porto. How do you react to that? Uh, although we'll have to read it before Th you know the details. Thank God it's not going to China. If he, <laughs> if he joins Porto, so that he can be playing first-class football, I mean, okay. first-team football, then, I mean, we, we still have some of our top... Because a lot of our top players are up to China. Uh, and, it's uh, now, and it's not good for us. I don't, I don't know how strong the league will be, but if you hear Nigeria join Porto, Porto is a fantastic club. Okay. I'd, I'd like to see them. They may not be in top-notch in, uh, in Euro, but, I mean, if he has first-team football, it will help the national the team. League. Yeah, they're playing in the Champions League. They're in the knockout stages as we speak. But so they soon get knocked out. Okay. <laughs> you just said so. <laughs> Sporting life, the last paper this morning. Uh, Super Eagles coach, again, and Rod, the ninth limit for Mikel and Idea. So it's like those in China will have opportunity to play. Well, ben Alaya, thank you so much for coming on the program. It's always a delight. And uh, can I just say happy birthday to uh, Larry Zamuji. Today is his 55th birthday. Uh, if he's watching, happy birthday <laughs> to him. I know you worked with him once, but he's a great guy. <laughs> All right, uh, that, that's been the show today. Uh, ben, I want to thank you for your time. Also, want to thank you for uh, watching. We'll do this again next week. I'm Yemi Adbayer. Thank you. I'm Cecilia. I'm all good.